Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that when we take a closer look at Lucasfilm, which, by the way, is one of Disney's most failed divisions ever since 2023 with The Mandalorian Season 3 really not meeting fan expectations at all, so April of last year was a deal breaker for many fans that ended up walking away and or canceling Disney Plus for the years to come until things, if and only if, turn around for Star Wars streaming services. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, it wasn't just The Mandalorian Season 3 and what happened with other many, you know, failed Star Wars attempts. It also has a lot to do with the announcement of the Rey Skywalker Star Wars film. And the reason why I say that is not that I defend her being called Rey Skywalker, but that that is exactly what... Kathleen Kennedy and Charmaine Obeid Chinoy and Stephen Knight are doubling down on calling her in the upcoming film, which I think is just completely hypocritical because at the same exact time, they are saying things like this movie is all about disconnecting from the Skywalkers and forgetting about that bloodline, yet at the same exact time, she's got that name. But let's focus on what's really going on here with Charmaine Chinoy and Disney and the whole Ben situation. Now, what's interesting about all this is that we know that her comments that she made about how it's about time a woman would shape Star Wars created so much controversy and backlash and how Daisy Ridley stepped in and really went unscripted, by the way, and kind of defended the fans, you know, saying how that whole thing is blown out of proportion of how fans do not want women in Star Wars, which is not true, by the way. Daisy did indeed go off script about that, and it created a whole ruckus behind the scenes at Lucasfilm. We have a lot more to talk about that, by the way. But what's interesting about this is that with Charmaine Chinoy creating many issues behind the scenes at Lucasfilm, one significant development has much to do with the ramifications that came as a result after the ongoing fan backlash over her comments about the Rey Star Wars film. However, what may come as a shocking surprise is that recently Charmaine was banned by Disney in several different ways after creating many issues behind the scenes after she created complications over her payout for the Rey Star Wars movie. This led Disney to banning her from several sets of the projects that she was recently fired and removed from. This included a complete ban for Charmaine Chinoy from supervising or even overlooking the Acolyte Season 2 set in the future, as well as Ahsoka Season 2 that she was also going to be involved with as a director under Dave Filoni for two episodes before she was removed. At this point in time, Disney also instructed Lucasfilm to do a complete ban for Charmaine Chinoy from ever being involved physically on set for the upcoming James Mangold Star Wars movie and an untitled Star Wars film that's in the works. This all comes in the wake after Charmaine was fired from those projects, after she fell into many arguments over Daisy Ridley's pay increase for the new Jedi Order film and how she wanted to be paid more, not just for the Rey movie but for the other projects, even after going into her contract details. Bob Iger surprisingly is the one who pushed for this entire decision in order to create less drama and distractions from the productions of those projects after they decided to fire her from five Star Wars projects in total that she was granted initially both as a director and as a co-writer and that she has already even made legal warnings and played the race card due to Disney's rapid decision. Now, with her complete ban from the sets and the production of the projects that she was removed from, this also involved that she would have no professional communication with the producers and or writers and directors while they work on those stories. As of now, she is only and strictly working on the Rey Star Wars film, which is also heading into further trouble after script revisions are being pressed by the Disney heads in order to exclude any references to the Skywalker characters and or lineage. Charmaine was also banned from taking part in the Lucasfilm story group and their conversations about how the future of Star Wars will be shaped and how she was going to be inserted into the story group as part of her promotion over at Lucasfilm that recently fell flat due to her comments creating fan backlash and creating much negativity in both the press and in the public eye. 
Now, Charmaine was also fighting Disney after this movie, of course, by Bob Iger, as she felt it was completely wrong of them to ban her from the Lucasfilm story group, and that she is demanding that her promotion would be reinstated, or else she is willing to move forward with legal warnings and or actions. Now, guys, let me stop here quick before I move on. This just goes to show you how deluded Charmaine Chinoy really is when it comes to everything related to her role over at Lucasfilm. And it's not just that. I think Kathleen Kennedy's also deluded. The fact that she went out of her way, initially speaking, to make her the next major player at Lucasfilm, the next big, you know, role at Lucasfilm, high up right getting a big time promotion getting this five project deal that was going to rake in tens of millions of dollars over the course of a number of years i think it just goes to show you how out of touch with reality not just kathleen kennedy is but also with the entire staff over at lucasfilm and over at disney of course as well because let's face it they're the ones that agree with this in the long run to begin with now moving to the next thing here this is also creating a bit of a halt on pre-production for the Rey Star Wars movie, which is why no specific release date has been provided yet by Disney. Right now, Iger is pushing to delay the film until December of 26 instead of May, after all the shenanigans. She was also banned from the meetings and conversations that are happening between Kennedy and the rest at Lucasfilm for the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, as previously there were discussions that she was going to be involved somehow on that film. Kennedy previously was pushing for Charmaine to be the major player at Lucasfilm that quickly fell apart after those comments that she made. Now again, we know that Charmaine is continuing to attack fans, continuing to defend the Rey movie and her stance on what she had said before back in January. It doesn't end there. And we know at the same exact time, when we look at Everything that's being done by Lucasfilm, it's not looking good. We know that the Acolyte is going to be a disaster, all right? Full of agendas, full of all that woke nonsense. We all know that, all right? At the same exact time, when you look at that project, it's the fact that Charmaine is using the Acolyte as inspiration to make the Rey movie, which is why a lot of people are really saying that this movie's gonna fail and really be dead on arrival, and I do agree with that. If she's modeling the Rey movie after the Acolyte, after what Leslie Headland is shaping for that show, it's going to be quite a wreck, and I think it's gonna be a world breaker when it comes to Star Wars, absolutely. So again, I think when we look at Bob Iger, this is nothing more than damage control, internally speaking, he's trying to really kind of keep things stable and to tame Lucasfilm, all right? We already know that his third phase of the cost containment plan, his cost cutting measures, are also gonna deeply impact Lucasfilm. You're gonna have a lot of firings, you're gonna have a lot of cutbacks as far as their budgets go, same exact thing as being done to Pixar. I mean, there's a lot more to discuss about that as well, so stay tuned about all the divisions over at Disney, we have a lot to talk about. But yes, uh, I would like to hear, you know, what you all have to say about all of these issues happening with Charmaine, Disney, the Ray movie, and how it really should not really go past pre-production at this point. And so I would like to hear what you all have to say about that below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.